Benedict, thank you so much for your time uh, this afternoon. Firstly, it was always going to be an uphill battle, especially for the speaker to prove why she should jump the queue and her matter be heard urgently. It was always going to be an uphill battle, that's correct. Um, as Kanye has indicated, um, you know, she hadn't shown that she wouldn't get substantive redress if the court didn't hear the matter urgently. And I think even on the elements of uh, that are required for an interim interdict, it was very much a weak case because really what she was saying is that uh, she has the right not to be arrested based on her standing. Uh, and I mean, that's really unheard of and unprecedented. So even on the ground for an interim interdict, it was always going to be a weak case uh, for no Sibiwe Mapisa Nwakola. And I suppose one, one could then ask, and especially this also coming up even last week in court as well, as to, you know, why should she then be treated differently? And that was a question not only asked by the court, by a number of people who are spectators in this particular matter, saying that these are processes that any citizen of South Africa would be subjected to. Yeah, and I mean, you know, uh, you know the NPA has any number of options with which it can secure uh, the presence of somebody who's uh, suspected of a crime for court. You know, they can follow an arrest, they can, you know, summon you to come to court or they can warn you to come to court. Um, and, you know, the Criminal Procedure Act allows for any of those three processes. So it was unprecedented uh, that the NPA acting within the boundaries and the four corners of the Criminal Procedure Act that Nosibiwe uh, Mapisa Nagula would seek uh, to even take uh, and seek the relief shot that she's seeking, which uh, is really unprecedented and is unheard of and would really made it seem that she would have really benefited uh, from her position rather than everybody being equal um, in this particular instance. And I'm glad that the court has reaffirmed uh, that everybody is equal. And, you know, when you're accused of a crime, uh, you process the manner that everybody is processed. And, you know, in this instance, she was afforded a slight courteous uh, gesture in the sense that arrangements were made for her to be processed. And I wonder then, uh, you know, also what about uh, the repeated arguments that she would like to get access to the full docket as well? And it's something that also raised um, quite some questions for a number of individuals. Again, you know, at this stage of the proceedings, um, she wouldn't have received uh, uh, access to the case docket. Uh, she made a big song and dance about the fact that it was a single witness uh, and that the evidence might not necessarily stack up. But this is not the stage of the proceedings to do that. Uh, Ms. Mapanga that you'd interviewed earlier had indicated how Mr. Julius Malema went through the entire process. He applied for a discharge, which is what Ms. Uh, Mapisa Ngakula would also be entitled to if the evidence didn't stack up. Uh, but certainly it wouldn't it be at this stage of the process that she'd be allowed to get access to the docket and see uh, the strength of the case against her. Uh, so again, that was also quite a uh, a brave move from her which would never have succeeded. And I wonder then, given what the court had to say earlier on and even the fact that, uh, you know, if it ruled in her favor, saying that it would open a floodgate for suspects to attempt to halt their own arrest, what does it mean then for her? Does she have any legal avenue to maneuver except to hand herself over? I think the sensible thing for her to do would be to hand herself over. You know, we know how difficult it is to appeal, uh, you, you know, when, when you've been struck off the roll for a lack of urgency. I, I don't think that is a viable alternative for her um, and the only sensible thing for her to do and probably the only thing for her to do right now would be to make arrangements uh, to actually get processed in a manner that would uh, allow her the same courtesy that she would have been allowed where she wouldn't be detained for very long and she'd be in court simply for the bail application that the court would, I mean, the, the state would not oppose. And thereafter, uh, you know, the, the matter would be postponed and it would move on from there. I think that's certainly the sensible thing for her to do. And I don't think in reality, she has many options that are actually realistic from here. And listening to, you know, some of the arguments last week in court, I mean, the NPA saying that uh, they could not give an undertaking that was sought by her lawyers uh, to ask if, you know, they can undertake that they're not going to arrest her. They did not make that undertaking, but what they could would say was that if she hands herself over they will not be opposing bail so what unfolds now in terms of the processes should she choose to then hand herself over 
I would think that her lawyer would have at least uh, reached out to the NPA uh, to try and make sure that there is some kind of an understanding of how the process will unfold uh, so that as to ensure you know, as minimal inconvenience for his client as possible. Uh, so I imagine there would have been an exchange of correspondence of sorts uh, to sort of work out how this process will unfold so that uh, you know, an, an arrest, if you call it that, um, is avoided for the dramatic effect of it rather. Uh, but whether she likes it or not, Ms. Mapisa Ngakula, uh, her, her attendance will be secured for court and for this uh, corruption case against her to start. Um, so I think, you know, what will then happen is, I'm, I'm thinking that the attorney would have made arrangements with the NPA uh, for this then to uh, proceed in an orderly fashion. It'll be interesting to see how it all unfolds. Thank you so much for your analysis, uh, Benedict, and just helping us understand here um, this part of the legal process that is uh, legal analyst Benedict Peary.